every score has been in the 90s so far, and that is unprecedented. This is great. That shows the caliber of these handlers and dogs. It's amazing. Juniman and Woe, Nelly the Australian Shepherd, coming out from Colorado. Woe, Nelly is a double rescue. I mean, he rescued once, had too much energy, and then rescued again by this young man, AJ. And we're about to go. coming at you. A big score has been posted. But you just had a really cool routine. in the first place was awesome and the way that that Nelly and I went out there and kind of the whole goal behind it was to just have fun with her I didn't really like yesterday the wind was pretty bad and today it was a little calmer but my whole goal was just we're gonna go out we're gonna have fun she could miss 50% of the disc and I'm still at the end of the routine I'm still gonna pick her up and I'm still gonna love her like it doesn't entirely when we're going on to the field we're not in the mindset like oh we're gonna hit 98% catch ratio or we're gonna do this we're gonna do that it's more of like let's go have fun on the field, and hopefully everyone else sees that. In 2015, when we're starting to play disc, we're looking up all these disc videos, and oh, the Prina IDC, like looking at all these routines and stuff. And so it was already surreal to be here and just like be in this environment. I was telling other competitors today, like this is the stuff you see on TV, and we're watching the dogs go through the weave poles in person. My mom has a shirt that says like the best frisbee, frisbee dog mom, and you know I give I give her a little, I make fun of her for it sometimes, all all in love. But in terms of I wouldn't be able to do this without her. She jokes that when I turned 16, she was so happy she didn't have to chauffeur kids anymore to soccer practice and stuff. But now she's chauffeuring my dogs halfway across the country. And so, but yeah, it's really been amazing to have her, especially with school, for her to be able to go and take my dog and 
be, be the mom and support system to drive my dog out there so I can fly out there and make sure academically I'm still successful while also being able to explore what I love and what I do on the side. And so to have her here, no matter how much crap I give her sometimes, I absolutely love her and I'm glad she's here. <laughs> So I uh, discovered disc dogging at the Greeley Stampede when we had first gotten Trip, and um, Trip was always supposed to be an agility dog, that's why I got him. We saw it at the county fair, we're like, oh, we want to do agility. And actually, he took to the frisbee pretty much immediately. You'd get it out, it's like his whole world would center on it. And so we were at the Greeley Stampede actually when Lawrence Fredericks Frederick was performing for the Greeley Stampede and you know my parents went and talked to him like what kind of frisbees are you throwing how does our son like learn to throw with his dog and he actually he's like I don't have any shows in the afternoon tomorrow come out with you and your dog and I'm gonna teach you how to throw and so that's kind of how we got started into that and then we met Tammy with the Colorado Disc Dogs which kind of launched that off and then we started our youth season in the Colorado Disc Dogs. I was shanking discs left and right, you know, kind of trying to not give up hope that maybe I'd learn how to throw. And so our disc progression, and this was probably five or six years ago that we started in youth, and then about four years ago is when we started in freestyle. And, you know, we do the toss and fetch, and, you know, we thought it was cool, but when the dogs came out into their freestyle routines, that was what really, that's what I wanted to do. And so with my first dog, you know, we were messing around, we're kind of learning all the throws and we started in intermediate and then our first Colorado season competing in open we got rookie of the year and then the season after that trip ended up being the state champ with his freestyle cup and then Nellie came in last year and ended up actually beating her brother for the state cup and so kind of especially when we got Nellie three and a half years ago that kind of accelerated our progression and like I need to learn how to throw not just for one dog but for two dogs and I need to learn how all these different grips and all these different throws because one dog likes this, Nelly loves to hop, so I gotta learn how to do all the vaults, the overs, and all that. And so last season it was kind of every competition, what new trick can we learn? What new trick can we learn? And then it's kind of all come together now into our routine. I had Woe Nelly out here today, and she is kind of, she's our two-time rescue dog, so when we got her, she was actually gonna be euthanized. And so rough, rough history with Nelly, really rough start to life. And so even like today with the environment, very overwhelming, and it's kind of taught me to look through her eyes so when we get into new environments, I'm thinking in terms of what's overwhelming her, where do we need to go to avoid her getting overwhelmed, and so kind of that's how, that's how Nellie's kind of taught me to look at things differently, but also in terms of Frisbee and being out here today with her. It's, it's cool to see her do all those hops and all the things on the field, and you know, I'm smiling because yeah, it looks cool, but also to me it's a lot more than that in terms of this is a dog who is kind of at the end of the line, rough start of life, and now she's out here and you can see the crowd go wild every time she leaves. And it's like, although she's not the perfect dog in terms of we have to be very careful in different situations, but when she's out there on the field, it's her kind of two minutes to shine, her two minutes to show what she can do. And so that's kind of what my throws and my routine tries to capture is what she can do and what she loves to do. We'll plan on attending the finals. We're gonna see, depending on how classes shake out, to plan on attending as many world qualifiers as we can for the disc season and kind of just go from there. I mean, like I said, we're the happiest when we're on the field. So the, the more we can be on the field, the better. And so that's kind of, kind of the goal. <laughs>